Hey everyone, it's Don with Don's Field of Dreams Cards doing this video from my office here today. Wanted to do my 2022 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame nomination. I uh, was very excited when Jake posted his video to, uh, to see what was going to happen and, and watch him take it over. And like many of you, I am very excited about the changes. I think they're good changes. Although, to be honest, unlike many of you, my first reaction was I did not like those changes at all. Um, just was when Jake gave all the new parameters, I was not excited. And, and the reasons being are, are twofold and uh, actually selfish reasons. The first being the three year rule knocked out 80% of my ballot. Uh, I only had two channels that had three years on. And the second selfish reason was really pertaining to me was I was curious to see if I'd get any Hall of Fame votes. Uh, I only have a year, a little over a year in, so at, le at least I can vote. Uh, so I'm eligible in 2024. But like a lot of things now, I, I don't jump at my first thought or reaction. I, I let it sit, kind of marinate for a day. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Jake is right. The, the Hall of Fame should be hard. It should be more of an accomplishment. A year is, is not enough. It's, it's not like it's rookie of the year, you know, which maybe that's a good idea for channels. But, um, you know, I, I really agree with what Jake's doing. I think that it's, uh, it, it's more like the real Hall of Fame and, and my thinking came around. And, you know, I personally think it's an honor to be elected to the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Yeah, you can say, you know, it's, it's just YouTube, it's just a patch. And in the grand scheme of life, you're correct. But to me, like I said, it's an honor. It's recognition from your peers um, that you're, you know, celebrating your channel and, and the effort that you put in. And, and it, it's nice to see that people out there recognize the hard work and that you're not just making it um, for no one to, to view it and, and enjoy. And, Ultimately, I don't think any of us have made these videos for the YouTube Hall of Fame. Many of you started making those before the Hall of Fame even existed. But Jake, I, th I think it's a good thing what you're doing. Um, did a 180 on what I originally thought. And uh, I, I've already seen one idiot on, on your initial video complaining that he won't get any votes and blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, it's not worth the headaches. So I I'm glad that you've taken it over and appreciate what Mike has done the last few years. Um, with that. So before I get to the guys I nominated, I want to go over, I'm only nominating three people this year, even though I had 10 and people might be like, well, you're wasting your vote. Well, for me, I have to be vested in, in your, your channel. I've had to watch it a while. Um, I'm not going to run out and say, oh, I need to throw seven more channels on here and, and watch videos that you guys have nominated. Now I am going to watch a lot of those videos that I especially the older guys that I don't know much about their channel, but I have to give it some thought. And for me, there's certain channels that are must see TV. I watch every single video, no matter what it is, as soon as it, you know, I get to notice that it's on, I'm very excited. And um, the three guys that I am nominating fit into that category, as did the other eight. Um, and yes, I know that's 11. I, I was between 10 and 11. so. That's where the three came in. So next year, I will definitely be voting for 10 because there's a lot of good guys um, out there. And, uh, and, and maybe that'll change because I, I'll get to watch some other channels and, and get to like them. But before I announce my three nominations, I uh, wanted to go over the seven guys I was going to vote for just because I want you guys to get some recognition for the great job you do. and. You know, obviously all seven of you won't get in next year, but I think all seven of you will get a lot of votes. And the seven guys that I would have voted for uh, this year that I'll catch you next year, except for one, and I'll start with him. I got to wait two years for you, Terry, and that's Terry, TJ Mack, uh, Lou, Lou Rock TV, Jim, Picker, Jim S, uh, James over to Lead Hunters, John, Wade Boggs fan, Scott, Reindeer Studios, and Jesse Think Blue 77. So guys, love what you do and uh, hopefully catch you all next year. 
So let's get to the three guys I voted for. So my first vote for the 2022 YouTube Hall of Fame is Vince, New York Yankees fan seven or New York Yanks fan seven. Uh, my gosh, the cards that Vince has are, I mean, they're, they're top of the line as far as grading and looks and the fire and they're just, they're classic cards. And if you've seen that video where he's showing them in his case and he's putting them in order, it's like each card is better than the next. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like, this is like a museum right in this case. And it's cool that Vince is now shows his face on camera with uh, Silver Jackify when they do those little battles on Friday nights. Th those are a lot of fun to watch and it's nice to put a, uh, a name with a face. So New York Yankees fan seven, or he, I keep messing up his name, New York NY Yanks fan seven. There we go. Uh, my second is the commish, Jake, Legends Never Die. Uh, voted for Jake last year. Uh, built a, a funny friendship with Jake. You know, he's big into raw cards and I'm big into graded cards. And I don't know how this got started, but we, we always tease each other about you know, free, free those graded cards. And I'm like, you know, save the raw cards, get them graded. And uh, Jake has an amazing collection, cards, bobbleheads, uh, autographs. The one fool you, he does have some graded cards though. A few of his autographs are graded. Um, if you've seen his room, he did a whole video, great sports room. Uh, Jake is just a down to earth guy. He's a purist. Um, and, and I think that's, where the rule changes come from. And, uh, and I like that idea. Uh, so Jake is just a great guy in the community. Um, for me personally, he's, you know, I, I've had some questions about autograph baseballs. I had him look at one recently and it and just was, has been a big help. So uh, Jake, Legends Never Die, formerly Jake Ticket Leprechaun, you get my second vote. My third vote, I'm really surprised this guy has not gotten in early. And I voted for him last year as well. And that's George Diamond Yard Sports Cards. Another guy with amazing collection, very knowledgeable. I really got to know George last year because I got to be on his channel for Hobby Palooza. And then I got to do three episodes on uh, Mike Monahan, baseball card collector's uh, blog. We did the 50s, 60s, and 70s baseball sets. So got to know George even better throughout the year and was a big help on me acquiring my 1950 Jackie Robinson. It's sort of his, I don't know, I think it's his favorite player. Um, and, and he's very knowledgeable about those cards and was a great resource. And just another guy that brings a lot to the community. Um, I like these guys because they also teach me things. Uh, of course, I love seeing their great cards, but I like to learn things about cards or the game. And, uh, just think there's three great guys and, and hope you all get in. You deserve it. So guys, as always, thanks for watching my channel and I'll talk to you soon.